core Logic's Perth home value index remained stable in November. Now, Brisbane and Hobart recorded the largest declines at 2%, while Darwin was the only capital city to record an increase at 0.2%. Now, REWA CEO Kath Hart said the Perth index has hardly changed since May when interest rates started rising. Now, Ms. Hart said the increases have added $760 per month to a $500,000 mortgage since May, while those on a mortgage of a million dollars have seen repayments increase by $1,520 a month. She said, now, rising interest rates have clearly impacted prices and borrowing capacities in the eastern states, but Perth, on the other hand, is very well placed to weather the changes in interest rates. Now, the West Australian economy and finances are amongst the strongest in the world, and the population continues to grow, and WA has one of the lowest unemployment rates in the country. Now, at a recent RBA meeting, they noted there were currently more ads for jobs in WA than active candidates. Now, meanwhile, Perth is the most affordable capital city in Australia, and these factors are all supporting the property market, and there is nothing right now indicating that house prices will fall drastically anytime soon. So now let's get into all the details with this month's Perth market update. So the top performing suburbs for house price growth in November were Bentley up 3.1% to $500,000. Subiaco was up 2.1% to $1.675 million. Bayou's Water was up 2.1% to $720,000. Dawesville was up 2% to $520,000. And Falcon was up 1.9% to $453,500. Now, the other suburbs to record a strong house price growth were Sorrento, Parmelia, Kelmscott, Heathridge, and Tapping. Now, there were 8,642 properties for sale on Reba.com at the end of November, and this is an increase of 5.8% on the 8,169 reported last month, but it was 5.1% lower than levels seen 12 months ago. Now, Ms. Hart said, the delays in the building industry coupled with some hesitancy are affecting the number of properties for sale. People who are building new homes are reluctant to list their current home before their new home is complete. Now, people looking to buy an established home are also waiting to sell until they sell their current home until they found a new home. Now, this reduces the number of properties for sale. Now, building completions are expected to improve over the next 18 months, and when they do, the supply of established housing will start to improve. Now, the median time to sell a house was 15 days during November, which is unchanged from October, I should say, and three days faster than three months ago. Now, Reba.com data revealed the fastest selling suburbs in November, and they were East Cannington at four days, Meadow Springs at five days, Aurelia, Mount Lawley, Coolangup, and Golden Bay all at six days, followed by Parmelia, Bilia, Bayswater, and Butler sitting at eight days. Now, Ms. Hart said Perth houses are selling at a remarkable rate and have done so since the March 2021 quarter. Now, while our members are reporting fewer people at home opens, they are still receiving multiple offers. Now, naturally, some buyers have been impacted with reduced purchasing power, but demand is still high enough to see properties selling quickly. Now, turning to Perth's rental market, Perth's median rent price was $500 per week during November, which is unchanged from October. And population growth continues to support the strong rental market, Ms. Hart says. Both net interstate and overseas migration are in positive territory for the first time since 2013, and as many migrants prefer to rent initially, this is seeing an increased demand and competition for rentals. Now, this is in turn maintaining pressure on prices. Now, we do not expect prices to fall until this rental shortage eases. Now, it took a median of 14 days to lease a rental during November, which was one day faster than October and three days faster than three months ago. Now, suburbs recording the fastest median leasing times were Byford at seven days, Meadow Springs, Seville Grove, and Inaloo at eight days, Canning Vale, Chewett Hill, Duncraig, and Yanchep at nine days, and Mosman Park and Balga at 10 days. Then there were 1,817 properties for rent on Rewa.com at the end of November, which is an increase almost 13%. Uh, on their levels reported at the end of October, but 20% lower than the same time last year. Now, Ms. Hart said the rental shortage remains a critical issue for the WA rental market. And over the past 18 months, we've seen a significant reduction in the number of private rentals as investors sell to take advantage of the capital growth or take their property off the rental market for their own use. Now, we desperately need more investors. Unfortunately, those who want to invest are faced with the same difficulty of buying a property in this market as owner occupiers. Well, guys, that is it from me. Now, please remember to like, comment, and share this video. And if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you've seen this. Now, have a great week. And remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference. That's action. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.